Now, up till now, we've uh, been looking at f sealed bids as as dividing up uh, things that people want, uh, and but it can also be used to divide up things that people don't want. Uh, it, in this case, dividing up chores in the household. Uh, so we're going to assign negative va dollar values to each item to represent uh, how much they don't want to do it. Uh, so if I gave it a value of, say, negative one uh, dollar, that would mean I'd be willing to pay a dollar to have somebody else do it. If I, s if I valued it at negative ten dollars, that means I'd be willing to pay ten dollars to not do it. I really don't like it. Now, we are going to assume, though, that they're going to actually do the work themselves and not hire a maid to do it for them, because uh, that would certainly be as the other solution here. So let's go ahead and figure out our total values here, uh, total values and their fair share uh, s for each of them. So Chelsea here's total valuing is negative thirty-four dollars, and so her fair share is negative seventeen dollars worth of work. Uh, Mariah's total valuing here would be thirty-eight, and so her fair share is negative nineteen dollars worth of work. Now, each item is going to get awarded to whoever bid higher for it. Now, remember, higher means a larger number, uh, and with negatives, Right? A negative 8 is bigger than a negative 10. In other words, we're going to award the task to the person who hates it least. Uh, so Chelsea would be willing to pay $10 to, 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 for somebody else to do the vacuuming. Maria, Mariah here would only be willing to pay $8, and so Mariah's gonna get to do the vacuuming. Uh, likewise, Chelsea dislikes cleaning the bathroom less, uh, and uh, here doing dishes and here dusting. Uh, so, uh, in our initial allocation, in our initial allocation, uh, Mariah is going to do the vacuuming. Uh, let's see. <laughs> vacuuming, uh, and the dusting which have a combined value of, uh, negative 12. Now, notice that this is, uh, not as much as her fair share of negative 19, so she's got to make up the difference. And so to get down to negative 19, she's going to have to pay the other seven dollars. Now, Chelsea is going to do the bathroom and and the dishes which have a combined negative value of negative 18. Now this is more bad than she had to do. Uh, so this is more negative than her fair share and so to compensate that for that she's gonna get one dollar. And Again, this is in the initial allocation. So let's look at our holding pile now. We have seven dollars coming in and s one dollar going out, which leaves us with a surplus of six dollars. We'll divvy that up in two. Each person gets th an extra three dollars. So, uh, in our final allocation then, Chelsea is still gonna do the bathroom and the dishes, but she's gonna get four dollars, uh, a week. And, uh, Mariah here got three dollars back, and so instead of paying seven dollars, she's only gonna have to pay four dollars a week. In other words, to compensate for the difference in badness, um, Mariah is gonna pay four dollars a week to Chelsea because she's doing stuff that's worse. Uh, <laughs> and so to compensate for the difference.